Hi everyone, it's Rachel and Anthony Hello. from Don't Crop Me Now. Here I'm going to show you a video today of how to save all those leftovers from Christmas. Really, this could be leftovers from any roast type dinner, but it's something that I like to do to make sure we're really prepared and can have quick dinners. One of the things that Anthony always seems to want to request on a Sunday is a roast dinner. And I have to say, we really rarely ever have one. And that's because we've been at the allotment all day. And by the time I get back at four o'clock, the last thing we want to start doing is prepping a full Sunday roast. But with those Christmas leftovers, I have prepared the following. So this is not all our leftovers, but we did have quite a lot. What I would do, as you can see, these are on trays with non, like a non-stick lining. I will freeze these like this and then we will put them all together in a Ziploc bag so it is a roast in a bag all frozen separately. The reason why I'm freezing them on the trays is if obviously you put everything in the bag it's just going to all stick together and you won't be able to get these out separately to reheat. So if you look at what we've got this is gravy that has been made with the bone broth so it's really good gravy so obviously we've got there, there's three of us, so one of those. It's only a tiny amount, but it's a nice portion. We've got stuff in here, our pigs in blankets. Obviously they're very specific to Christmas. I'm not sure if we'll eat those with the host or they can be used for an actual meal themselves. This is mashed potato. It's got a little bit of butter in there and some parsley. And as you can see, I've rolled them into separate balls. Each one is a good portion size. This is Swede and Carrot Mash. For this I've used, this is just a like a, a chocolate type mould because it doesn't stick together in the same way that the mash does so it's much easier. And once they're frozen these will pop, pop out in these sort of log shapes to be put together in the bag. We've got some roast beef that's been sliced up, Yorkshire puddings and these are some roast potatoes. I'm not too bothered that these are touching on the tray because they're pretty greasy ingredients anyway and they will pop apart quite easily even when frozen. So what I'm going to do now is pop these into our freezer, probably leave them for a good 12 hours and then tomorrow I'll get them out and package them up into the individual roast bags. So I'm under our stairs, this is where we keep one of our freezers and this is a small chest freezer. And as you can see, I had to move quite a few things and put them into one of the other freezers to create this space on the top so we could still close the lid. So I've placed these items on the top. I'll just put a layer of cling film over there just to keep them clean. And I will let them freeze like that and then bag them up into the separate roast dinners. So now the items have been in the freezer and they're definitely completely solid. What we need to do now is bag them up. But before I do that, I just want to talk a little bit about reheating. It's absolutely fine to freeze most of these items and they will be perfect when you reheat them. The Yorkshire puddings, roast potatoes and anything that's essentially cooked and it's got a bit of fat in it, so the stuffing in these uh, pigs in blankets, I would put them straight onto a tray from frozen at 175 degrees C, probably for about 15 minutes and they will then reheat and crisp up. The meat, I would defrost the gravy either in a pan or in the microwave and then just reheat that meat from frozen within the gravy. And the other vegetables that have quite a high water content, like the mashed potato and this Swede and carrot mash, I would reheat that in the microwave, again from frozen. When you first start to do it, you'll notice it looks quite wet. What you need to do is just to keep microwaving it until that water has evaporated off. If you think about it, you buy all of these vegetables frozen already so they obviously do work like that it just you need to get past that stage where it looks wet and keep going a little bit further so i'll show you how i'm going to bag these up because i've done these in this silicone container then they pop out really easily so there's three of us I'm going to put the veg at the bottom. I hope it's all going to fit in here. We'll see, won't we? Quite big bags, these. Put some of the potato in. This is why I was freezing them separately. So then they can go in the bag, but it's easy to get them out. 
I'm going to just put these in here, I think. So here you can see that I, I froze them together in the bag, but because they have got some fat in it, they should just separate out. And it's good to separate them because if, then if you don't want to use everything, you can even just take bits out that you want, I guess, isn't it? here we go here is the ready roast in a bag obviously you do need to heat these things up separately so i guess this is what people would call food prep like if you want to eat well and use your um homegrown ingredients or you just want to buy things in bulk to save money this is how you manage to eat fresh meals regularly most people are not spending three or four hours every night cooking individual meals. So the idea is that you what you can prep ahead and this is a really good way of doing it. And also, like we've done, this is from Christmas, so it also uses up all of that leftover food as well. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. It only takes a minute, but it really helps our channel. Take care everyone, bye!